Well, hello there, and how are you doing? My name is Danielle Nicole, and welcome to my channel. Today is an extra special day today. Um, Dee asked me to be a part of a, a small collab, just her and I, to discuss why we chose calories and macros over Weight Watchers at this time. So that's kind of an interesting topic. I know that I've looked up videos on this before in the past just to get some information, see what people think about it. Most people are always a little bit interested in calories and macros versus Weight Watchers. So it's kind of a hot topic and it's an interesting topic, at least I think so. So when Dee um, asked me to be a part of this collab, I was totally on board because I feel like I have an opinion and some experience on it. So thank you so much Dee for thinking of me and wanting to do this collab. I think this is a great topic and I think it will help a lot of our viewers. Um, Dish with D, D. Her channel will be down below. Please go check her out. She has tremendous content. I mean, everything. Um, cooking, days in the life, topics that really, really sink in. Whenever I watch a lot of her videos, when I'm listening to her, I really feel like I can resonate with her because she's real life. She doesn't sugarcoat it. She puts it out there what she's thinking and she has been successful on Weight Watchers and she is also trying the calories at this time. So I think you can learn a lot from Dee. She has a lot of videos. Go and check her out if you haven't already. I think you will really, really enjoy her and let her know uh, that I sent you over. So, um, so yeah, so this is, this is a good topic. I, I have some things I could say about it um, with my experience. And I just want to say a disclaimer right away that this video and this collab, her and I discussed this, is not a bash on Weight Watchers. It is absolutely not. This is not, let's bash Weight Watchers and talk about how much better calorie counting is. Absolutely not. Because I've been on both. She's been on both. She has been successful on Weight Watchers. Very successful. Lost over a hundred pounds. And so for all my Weight Watchers people wa um, watching, this is just information and opinion about what our recent experience is and what we're thinking about it at this time. You know, dieting and health journeys change and grow over time. You may do calorie counting for a while and miss your Weight Watchers and go back or vice versa. So we change our minds. Sometimes it's nice to change things up. For those of you that are interested in this topic, stick with us, we're gonna talk about it. So let's get into it. First of all, um, if you're new to my channel, I'm Danielle Nicole. I'm 49 years old. I have two teenage daughters. I have a husband of over 20 years, and I'm a full-time geriatric social worker. And on the side, I do some YouTubing. And I have a small little channel, and I've been talking about my weight loss journey because I gained weight um, like, like around the time I turned 40 years old. And it's been a struggle to lose this weight that I want to lose and all of that. But I've been doing much better lately, I have to report. In fact, I'm due to do a weekly weigh-in video on my channel. So I'm going to try to get that filmed soon to get, let you guys know where I'm at. But I'm doing better. And right now I am doing calorie and macro counting and intermittent fasting. And I follow the Lose It app. So it's not an expensive app. Um, I think you could pay... What, that's not terrible, I'm forgetting. I think it was under $30 for the entire year. Um, and that's for the, the pro, which you get a little more bells and whistles to it. And you can also get it for free, at least I'm pretty sure. Um, so check into that if you're interested. There's lots of calorie counting apps out there. I mean, I'm not even saying Lucid is the best app, it's just what I happen to use. And my doctor also recommended it to me. So let's talk about it. Why have I chosen to leave Weight Watchers for now and go over to calorie counting and macros? Number one, the elephant in the room is I love the meetings. Anyone that watches my channel knows that. I love, love, love the meetings. And they shut down the one close to my home. And I did for a while there, excuse me, I have a little itchy on my leg. I did for a while there drive 35, 40 minutes on the other side of town every Saturday to go to my Weight Watchers meetings. And it just became too much um, to be doing that all the time. At first I was excited about it, happy to do about it, but you know how it is when it's a struggle, it, you know, it takes up too much time. So I stopped doing that. That's number one, the meetings. A lot of people that are, that love their Weight Watchers, have been around for a long time, miss the meetings. And so there's very few in most of our areas. And so that's been upsetting, um, to people. 
So that was one of the reasons why, why I left. The other reason why I wanted to go over to calorie counting is I've done it in the past and I liked it. And my doctor did recommend it. So when I was like on the struggle bus with Weight Watchers, um, and believe me, I love Weight Watchers. If you watch my channel, I love my meetings. I love my Weight Watchers. You go in my family room, there's two cookbooks over there. I've been on and off it since I was 23 years old. Anytime I gain a little weight, I always want to go to Weight Watchers. It became just like where I wanted to go, where I wanted to be. Love, I don't know. I felt like I was learning something in those meetings. And so that's why I stuck with it for so long, would always go back to it, even if I really wasn't losing. I just, I don't know, maybe I was addicted to Weight Watchers. I don't know. I just, I liked going to those meetings. It was just, I just liked it. I just, I just did. So I've been on calorie counting for a few months now. This month, I'm going to do a weekly weigh in um, video coming up, but just to give you an example, I'm down 3.6 pounds in the last month. If you watch my channel, I lose very slow. I go up and down, up and down, up and down. And I have just been doing very well with it. So why am I doing well with calorie counting and macros? First of all, um, on the Lose It app, you can, you can implement intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting means you have an eating window and you have a fasting window. Um, and I do not, what am I doing? The 12 hour window? Yeah, the 12 hour window. So I stop eating at seven. Yeah, I start. No, I'm doing the 14 hour. I'm sorry, I had to think about that for a minute. Um, I stop eating at seven o'clock at night and I can start eating at nine o'clock in the morning. Sorry, I have to think about it because now it's become part of my life and I don't even think about it anymore, which is a good sign that I had to sit there and think about it because I'm not, I just know it now. I know that I don't eat after seven and I can eat after 9 a.m. So that's what I'm doing, intermittent fasting with the calorie counting and I'm following my macro. So why is this working well for me at this time and why did I wanna even do this? I found that I was under eating or over eating. So I was either out of points early in the day and like, oh my gosh, and like going into my weeklies right away, um, not eating enough zero point foods to get my caloric intake in. And I just, I felt like I'm really on a program when I was on Weight Watchers. I, I think it just hit me like I'm on a program. I'm thinking of food as points. Not that calories isn't thinking of it as calories, but I feel like calories is what it is. It's, it's that energy. And I just got tired of thinking of food and points all the time. Points, 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 points. And I know calories is similar, but I don't know why it feels better to me. So... I was either overeating or under eating and I just didn't have a balance. And I think that's why I just was plateaued a lot. I'd gain and lose 10 pounds over and over and over again. Um, so one of the benefits of calorie counting is that every food is assigned a calorie. Now I do not count calories if I have a slice of tomato on my chicken sandwich. I don't if I have a little piece of lettuce. If I go to a restaurant and I have a chicken Caesar salad, which is one of my favorite foods, I will or, you know, I will count the calories for the chicken Caesar salad, including the lettuce and everything. But like non-starchy vegetables, because I don't go crazy with them anyway, I don't really count that. Um, that's just what I've decided to do. But I find it's easier when I go to restaurants, I know, okay, when I go to Culver's, my grilled chicken sandwich is this many calories and and I just, I just feel like it's more flexible. If I love Starbucks, I love the um, shaken espresso drinks. On Weight Watchers, it would just take so many of my points every day that I just, I didn't even enjoy my coffee. Now when I go have one, I count the calories, and of course it puts it into the macros. Um, macros, if you're, if you're new to them, is like carbohydrates, fiber, um, protein, um, sodium, those type of things. So I feel like I can eat in a more flexible manner. I can live my life a little bit more because ultimately my goal is to get off of counting things and be more like on intuitive eating um, where I just make nutritious decisions and I'm not counting and tracking everything. I do not plan on counting and tracking for the rest of my life. That's my goal. But for now, this helps me stay on track and monitor things. So number one, I was not diving into enough zero point foods or I was overdoing it like with non-fat Greek yogurt type of thing. Um, and in order to get to my calories, I had to make sure I was diving into the zero point things. I don't know, it just became messy to me. 
and I'm just talking real with you guys. I have a couple of notes I wrote down, wrote down but I thought when I'm gonna do this video, I'm just gonna talk about what comes to my mind and what I'm really feeling here. So I'm not worried about zero point foods. It's more flexible. So we're on the go. We have weeks where I'm super, super good mom, housewife, and I'm making these beautiful, nutritious, homemade dinners. We're gonna have tacos tonight after I film this video. I'm gonna go make some turkey taco meat. And other times we're like eating out all the time. So I have a on the go kind of job and I have an on the go type of life with two kids and crazy job and all that stuff. So I need something flexible. And if I wanna have real butter on a piece of bread that I made homemade, I'm not worried about it as much. It's not like, you know, if I have a little small piece of cheese, it was five points on Weight Watchers. And so I can have a little piece of cheese and I count the calories and I hone in on the macros. So this app kind of sets your macros for you. So I can take a little look at it every day. Oh, wow. I was real low on protein today. I better keep an eye on that and make sure I'm getting my protein in. I was high in carb because I love carbs, so I watch that. But sometimes I'm even low on carbs. So it makes me aware of what I'm really, really eating. With, with, with points, I was like, I felt like it was just, as long as I'm within my points, you know, I'm getting my blue dot. Now I'm honing in on things. I'm even honing in on sodium because I have high blood pressure. I'm honing in on fiber. If you ever watched my channel before, you know, I took a geriatric nutrition video or, or um, class a long time ago when I was in college and the dietitian said, everyone's worried about fat. What you need to worry about is watch your fiber. So I watch fiber. I'll pop my popcorn, not because it's low in point, but, uh, for Weight Watchers, like, oh, I need something low in point. It's, it's oh, I can get some fiber. And then I have an, a, like a healthy fiber munchy kind of snack. My kids are into popcorn now. That was a good skill they learned from watching their mom. Pop popcorn all the time. Um, it's just straightforward. Calories are everywhere. If you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you wanna have a donut, well, sometimes we have a donut, I can see how many calories it is. Is that the healthiest choice? No, it's not, but it's not gonna ruin my calories for the whole day. So I like the intermittent fasting with the calorie counting and macros. Um, I feel like that intermittent fasting has really been saving me lately. I really feel like that incorporates everything that I need right now because I was snacking at nighttime and then I was um, eating breakfast so early because I get up so early with the kids and work and things that I think I just had too big of a um, window period. So I was just thinking about what, what am I gonna eat next? I don't, I don't even think about what I'm gonna eat next as much anymore. It is crazy, you guys, it's crazy. I just know that after nine o'clock, if I'm hungry and I want something, I can have something. If not, I eat a little bit later. It doesn't mean I eat at nine o'clock. I can eat at nine o'clock. Sometimes lately, I haven't even been as hungry and I'm you know, eating around 11. I'm just less hungry. It is crazy, but it's true and I've lost 3.6 pounds in the last month. And I don't have a tremendous amount of weight to lose. So for me, that's good. That might be low for some people, but for me, that's good. Um, I feel like I'm doing a deep dive into my nutrition because I'm looking at those macros and, and seeing if I'm on my target or within my target, in my target. I just feel less stressed. Um, do I want to count calories for the rest of my life? No, nobody wants to count anything for the rest of their life, but sometimes we need those tools to keep us on track. I mean, even my kids sometimes will track their calories and see where they're at. Not to lose weight, they don't need to lose weight, but they just do it to kind of see where they're at. Um, it's just working for me, you guys. I have a love for Weight Watchers, and sometimes I'm like, I sit there in my quiet time and say, do I miss Weight Watchers? Do I want to go back to Weight Watchers? because I always end up going back. If you watch my channel for the past many years, I always end up back at Weight Watchers. I don't know, it says there's just a love for Weight Watchers in those meetings. I just, I feel satisfied right now. I've been doing this for several months and I am starting to take off weight. I feel different in my clothes. My clothes are getting looser. I'm losing it slow, but I'm losing more consistent, consistent calories, macros, intermittent fasting. I worked in an office with ladies years ago and they were all thin and beautiful and they were all doing intermittent fasting. And I was like, I'm not gonna do intermittent fasting. That's crazy. What do you mean you don't eat until 11 o'clock and this and that and that and this? But now it's working for me because I don't think about food all day long. Um, and like like I, if you watch my channel, I have a crazy stressful job. And so, you know, there's emotional eating. Like I'm gonna have a snack. I'm so annoyed, blah, blah, blah. And working from home, you're always in the house. Now I just, 
just not that hungry anymore. Um, so this is working for me. I've made that change for Weight Watchers. Um, a lot of people have been successful on Weight Watchers. I've been somewhat successful on Weight Watchers. I'll be honest with you. It never really did the deed. I think it was more of an emotional attachment to Weight Watchers than it was that it helped me. I mean, the flexibility, Weight Watchers is also flexible because you have points and you can plan your day, maybe eat a little lighter or use your weekly. So there are a lot of benefits to Weight Watchers and it is also flexible. I find calorie counting to be more flexible and that's what I need in my life. Um, Weight Watchers, you know, people that love Weight Watchers, you get used to certain things you eat, you memorize the points, it becomes part of your life. And so that's the benefit of that as well. So there's pros and cons to both. It's what works for you. Um, I've done all kinds of different things. I've never done the intermittent fasting with the calorie counting. And I feel like that is the golden ticket for me lately that has helped me because I'm not thinking about food. I have a window period of eating. now. If we, sometimes I do go past the seven o'clock because of the way life is, you know, um, we're busy on a Saturday doing a project and we're going out to dinner and it's a little bit later. So I'm not saying I'm always perfect with the intermittent fasting and they say it's, it's good to mix it up. And I am not an intermittent fasting guru. I'm not a guru on any of this. This is just a mom with two kids working, trying to lose some weight and get healthier. That's just all I am here. Um, and I've been doing this for a long time and I'm not perfect at it, but I can tell you right now I'm doing good. I am doing good, you guys. I feel better in my clothes. Um, I'm getting my groove on. I miss the old Danielle. Not that I you know, always thought that I didn't worry about my weight, but I miss the old Danielle that felt a little bit better and I'm starting to feel a little bit better like my old self. And um, I want to be healthy. I'm going to be 50. I, my kids, I hope they get married and have kids someday and I want to be around and, and I just want to do good things for myself. Do I have a ton of weight to lose? I do not have a ton of weight to lose, but I want to lose some weight. And, um, so far I'm doing good right now, you guys. So this is just me talking to you, telling you about why I'm choosing macros and calories over Weight Watchers at this time. It's working for me. It's straightforward and it's flexible. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is why I'm doing it, and why I made the change and why I'm happy I made the change. Um, you know, we all have to choose our own paths of what works best for us. And, and calorie counting is not better than Weight Watchers and Weight Watchers is not better than calorie counting. Sometimes you gotta make a change. Sometimes we get in ruts and we stick with one thing we're creature of habits, we know it, we know it, we know it, we don't wanna try things. Sometimes it's fun to try a little something different. It's not gonna hurt you as long as your doctor proves of it. And throughout this whole video, I'm not a dietitian, obviously, I'm a social worker, so always check with your doctor about whatever you know, program you're following. Intermittent fasting is not for everybody. So I always wanna say in my videos, check with your doctor, see what's gonna be best for you. My doctor recommended this for me, so I feel safe doing it. And I'm eating a wide variety of foods and I have good days and I have bad days. Some days I eat too much junk. Sometimes I don't eat enough. So um, today I did not eat enough. I need to make sure I have a, a good salad dinner. I've just been busy. But um, I don't know. I find myself less hungry lately and less thinking about food and obsessed with it. I'm just kind of living my life. Um, sometimes I even forget I have a channel because I'm just going about this, doing this. And I just, I'm just living my life. And don't we all want to just live our life? <laughs> We just want to live our life, right? We don't want to be stressed out. We have enough to be stressed out about. So, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to end this video here, let you guys know. That's just my little chitty chat about this. I want to thank Dee so much for thinking of me, Dee. I've known Dee for years, been watching her channel for years. Please go check her out. I know you know who she is, but if you don't, go check her out. She has um, a wealth of knowledge. She's been successful on Weight Watchers. She's trying something new right now, and um, yeah. So I think you'll really enjoy her. So let me know what you what your thoughts are down below. Are you on Weight Watchers and loving Weight Watchers? Are you doing calorie counting? What are you doing? What works for you? Because um, on my channel, I have a, such a small channel, a lot of our, my um, subscribers check out the comments and learn from each other. So we, I love the camaraderie that we have here. So thank you, you guys. Hope this is helpful. Just me talking off the cuff about what I'm thinking about all this stuff. And um, go check out D down below. And thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.